Hello, my angels. It's me, Lord Nicolina, and welcome back to Angel Rise. At the time of this recording, it's been nearly a month since I last did an episode of Angel Rise, that being the collab episode with my dear friend Kestrel, which is an hour and 52 minutes long, officially surpassing episode 11 as the longest in series history so far. And it has gotten quite a bit of popularity, so I would like to thank you all for the support on it. I will include a link to the episode on the screen here and at the end of this video in case you all want to give it a watch. But yeah, it was definitely the biggest video I have ever made so far, and it took until the day of the premiere for me to edit it. I was exhausted to be honest. But I felt it was worth it in the end, and I give myself a pat on the back for it. And before this episode officially begins, I do have a couple announcements to make. Number one, back at the beginning of the year, this channel officially reached 1,000 combined views. You got that right, everyone. This channel now has over 1 thousand combined video views. Honestly, I'm so happy that the mark has been reached, yet at the same time, I thought this channel would never reach that mark. Regardless, I thank you all so much for the support, no matter how big or small it is. And announcement number two, I do have a skit planned for Valentine's Day, which is going to be related to the topic of this episode, so stay tuned for that. And with that being said, let's get into episode 31 of Angel Rise. For this episode of Angel Rise, I will be talking about a topic that's been mentioned numerous times on this channel, that being the romances that my OCs have. However, there is one OC romance that I've yet to mention on this channel, which involves Nicole Peach. That I will mention at the end. First off, I would like to talk about my original purpose with putting my OCs in romances. I initially decided to keep my OC single, especially Nicolina, because in real life I am single myself, and I don't have the best confidence in finding a partner, but it has gotten better over the years. There was an event that happened, however, which justified my doubts, and that event involved Nicolina. This story I've told quite a few times on this channel before, but I'll tell it here again as a refresher. From December 21st, 2020 to June 28th, 2021, I was involved with Nicolina in an abusive online roleplay relationship with a blue Luigi OC by the name of Texic, which I was manipulated into, and he did a lot of uncomfortable things to me and my OC. Would I classify this as my first OC romance? Absolutely not. That I declare a write-off because of the nature of it. It wasn't love. It was abusive and a nightmare to deal with. At the same time, though, it was a factor in how my OC's romantic life works. And the first official OC romance that I had was the true turning point. That being the romance between Nicol Daisy and Kestra Peach. For context, Nicol Daisy was made on March 11, 2021, and Kestra Peach was made just over a month later on April 15, 2021, initially named Peach Stroll before the name was changed four months after she was created. The day after Kestra Peach was created, Kestrel made an edit of Kestra Peach and Nicol Daisy together. It was Easter themed, though Easter was just two weeks prior. 
I didn't think too much of the edit at first, but I did find it cute. I honestly loved it for how it looked, but I couldn't imagine too much coming out of it. But the next day, all of that changed. I saw Kestrel share another edit she made of Nickel Daisy and Kestra Peach together, this time with Nickel Daisy holding Kestra Peach in his arms, and a caption on their old Kestra Peach account referring to Nickel Daisy as Kestra Peach's girlfriend. That's when it clicked. When I saw the edit and the caption, I realized how perfect these two looked together and said to myself, these two are going to be a couple. It was quiet for a couple weeks afterwards, as I let the feeling of Nickel Daisy and Kestra Peach being a romantic couple sink in. On April 30th, 2021, it was made official. I made a drawing of Nickel Daisy proposing to Kestra Peach, and the knot was officially tied between those two. The romance has been going strong ever since, and it's already coming up on two years this upcoming April. How time flies when you have fun, am I right? To say this OC romance gave me courage to end the abuse I was suffering is only part of the equation. This was also the beginning of realizing my OCs were lesbians, and who I should trust them with. It also signaled how close Kestrel and I had gotten up to that point, and how close we were due to get. The second OC romance I have proves that. Nicolina and Kestrelina. The story of that romance begins the day Kestrel and I met, November 10th, 2020. As I've shared numerous times on this channel, I first came across Kestrel as their Rosalina OC, Kestrelina, and I made a drawing of Nicolina with them. Afterwards, Kestrel and I mostly interacted as our Rosalina OCs and developed a strong connection in a heartbeat. In other terms, Kestrel and I became best friends quickly, and our Rosalina OCs did the same just like Kestrel mentioned back in episode 30. It's amazing how real friendships can carry over into OC friendships. For five months after my abuse, I refused to put Nicolina in a romance because I wanted him to be single like me. I mean, I did enjoy having Nicol Daisy in a romance, but I didn't feel the same way about Nicolina. I preferred close friendships with him, with Kestrelina having the strongest connection. That changed on November 28, 2021, when I made a couple drawings of Nicolina and Kestrelina cuddling and kissing, because I knew how special Nicolina and Kestrelina being friends was to me. When I made the drawing of them kissing, though, Something felt different inside of me, that my friendship with Kestrel was closer than ever, and Nicolina and Kestrelina could be more than friends. Yet it did feel wrong at the same time, because I knew Kestrel already had Kestrelina with two other partners, and I thought it would be an intrusion. The next day, however, November 29th, 2021, I asked Kestrel if I could ship Nicolina with Kestrelina, and while she was surprised at first, she said yes, and revealed that Kestrelina was polyamorous, meaning she could have multiple partners. To have the OCs Kestrel and I first interacted as be together in a romance was something my wildest dreams could have imagined. And I was happy with them being friends. Yet I couldn't help but feel something special between the two. Now you're wondering, why ship your OCs with two of your friends' OCs? The point is, 
Kestra Peach is part of Kestrel's yellow family of OCs, and Kestrelina is part of the pink family of Kestrel's OCs. There is a yellow Kestrelina, by the way, but the Kestrelina we're talking about here is the pink one. All in all, the two OC romances I have with Kestrel helped me solidify the fact that my OCs were lesbians, and that I had found OCs that mine could truly share their love with. They are also major parts in the friendship between Kestrel and I, as ways to say thank you to the greatest friend I've ever had. I honestly can't put enough words in to describe how life-changing this was not just for my OCs, but for me and my friendship with Kestrel too. And it carried over into the third and final OC romance that I have. For those who don't know already, Kestrel has a boyfriend whom I previously referred to as Rome. But here, I'm going to refer to him by his real name, that being Ira. As you all have may have surmised here, this romance involves Nicole Peach. For context, I've had Nicole Peach as single, due in part to his shy personality and my abuse. She also represented my low confidence in being in a real life romantic relationship, which isn't as low now as back when I made him, but she still retains part of it. I first reconsidered Nicole Peach being single around the time of his one year creation anniversary. And I had it stuck in my head for four months, contemplating back and forth on whether she should be in a romance like Nicolina and Nicol Daisy were. Then, on October 13th, 2022, I made up my mind. Nicole Peach was no longer going to be single and was going to be in a romance. But with who? I already had Nicolina and Nicol Daisy married into each side of Kestrel's two families of OCs, so I had to give it some thought. That's when I turned to Ira's family of OCs. More specifically, his princess OCs, which were created by Kestrel. They consisted of Ira Lena, Ira Daisy, and Ira Peach. Like my OCs, they are intersex and lesbians, but they are gender fluid as opposed to my OCs who are bi-gender. At first, I considered Iralina because I thought it would be cool to have a Peach OC and a Rosalina OC in love. But Iralina was already shipped with one of Kestrel's OCs, which meant Ira Daisy and Ira Peach were left. Two Peaches being in an OC romance didn't feel right to me. And taking in the fact that my favorite Mario characters are Rosalina, Peach, and Daisy, the only kind of OC of those characters my OCs were not in love with was a Daisy OC. And that's when I settled. I officially revealed that Nickel Peach was going to be shipped with Ira Daisy a few hours after I originally decided that Nickel Peach would be in a romance. And officially, my OC romance trifecta was completed. But it was more than just a simple character choice that made this happen. To clarify what I mean, Ira and I have also become pretty close with each other, though not at the same level my friendship with Kestrel is at. Still, him and I get along super well, mostly because of our strong care for Kestrel's well-being. Plus, if I haven't had met Kestrel, I wouldn't have met Ira either. Keep in mind, guys, I met Kestrel a couple weeks before I met Ira. Characters-wise, Daisy is one of Ira's favorite Mario characters, 
only second to Luigi. Any other Luigi X Daisy shippers out there? If so, please make yourselves known. Anyways, it was only fitting that I put Nickel Peach with Ira Daisy, as not only to complete my OC romance trifecta, and to recognize Ira's love for the Luigi X Daisy ship, and to fully realize that being in love isn't impossible. I've connected with Kestrel and Ira a lot, formed amazing bonds with each of them, and with them came my three amazing OC romances. Even their own relationship has given me confidence to potentially find a romantic partner because of how well they connect with each other. To those continuing to seek the one that shares as much love as you do, keep going. It's not impossible. There is always hope to find romance, whether in real life or in roleplay, as long as you've got the right person, you and your potential partner will become angels in love. That's all for this episode, everyone. I knew at some point I had to make this episode. Because the romances I have with my OCs are honestly a lot of fun. I'm super grateful to have them. And I'm also super grateful to have the opportunity to share them with you all. If you did enjoy this episode, definitely feel free to leave a like and share this with your loved ones. Spread the word about Angel Rise. For those who are new and would like to join this journey of mine, then please feel free to subscribe to join the Blue and White Angel Brethren today. Click on the notification bell as well so that you are notified whenever I release new content. And check out my other videos too. Thank you all so much for watching this episode of Angel Rise. I hope you all have a great day or night whenever you are watching this. And I also wish you all a happy Valentine's Day, no matter how you celebrate it. Until we meet again, my name is Lord Nicolina. Be strong, stay positive, and God bless.